Hello my friends. Today I'm going to show you how to make a deep water culture or DWC row bucket. What you'll need is a net cup lid. I like the 8 inch ones. Provides enough uh, lot of support for the plant. 5 gallon bucket. You can pick that up. Any hardware store. But I find if you, if you go to the hydroponic stores, they have the black ones. It won't let any light through. Some quarter inch airline. Five eighths diameter clear tubing. This is a five eighths barbed fitting. Goes, it sandwiches the bucket in between. You can get a grommet with a 90 on it. Might be a little, uh, little cleaner, but this is what I have around, so this is what I'm using. Some zip ties, air pump, and some air stones. So first thing you want to do is get your drill. This is a one inch drill bit. Not sure the actual name, but uh, that's what size it is for that fitting. So get your bucket, what I like to do is go maybe half an inch up, take it nice and slow, and just drill your hole. You put the hole wherever, I like to put it, lid is like, or the handles like this, Put the hole here, that way I can lift my bucket. The water level is, indicator is gonna be right here. It's good to go. If you get some plastic from the drill bit, some of the plastic kicks up, just take your scissors and uh, clean it up. Don't cut yourself. It's nice and clean on the inside too. Take your fitting. It's going to have two gaskets. This is going to slide in from the inside with the gasket. This is going to go on the outside with the gasket and clamp it. Screw that on nice and tight. You don't need to go overkill with it, but make sure it's snugged. So what you're gonna do next, this is a 730 seconds drill bit. Take that, go right above your uh, spigot there. Drill two holes. Don't push too hard. Don't want to start digging into the bucket. The holes are just into this lip. We're going to put a zip tie to support the water level indicator. Feed it like this. Make sure you buy quality, uh, quality zip ties that lock. Try another one. Get it looped. Take our 5 8 clear line. Jam it on the barbed fitting. Go 
fill it up to about there. Cut it. And then just snug the zip tie up just enough so it's holding it. Don't want to put it too much, too tight. Snip this. There we go. So that's the water level indicator. You can use that to also just check the pH. Put some into a cup out of the bucket, the water. Next we're going to drill the hole for the air line. I like to put it right here from the side. You can put it through the top of the net cup, but it's just going to get in the way when you're lifting it up, lifting the plant up to uh, swap out nutrients. So. Anywhere is good. Take your stone. This one is a 1.4 by 1.7 quarter inch. Really doesn't matter which one you're using, if you're using one of the flat ones or the stone type. Just make sure it's not super small. Feed enough in so that the line is touching the bottom of the bucket. Now put your air stone on. There you go. Net cup on. I'll throw some water in these things and uh, attach the pump and I'll be back. Okay guys, so I got the water in it. See the water level here? It's a little high on that one. And uh, the clay pebbles are in top. And our air pump's running. Everything is looking good. Just double check for leaks. Once you have it uh, all filled up, You're using tap water. Let the uh, let the air stone run for about 24 hours on that tap water to dechlorinate it before you adjust your pH levels and add your nutrients. And throw your plants in there. But it's a easy deep water culture hydroponic system. Easy to set up. It'll do you just fine for a small operation for a beginner. Have fun.